this video we will take apart the iPhone 3GS. You'll need two tools, a suction cup, or like the tool I have, and a Phillips screwdriver. First look for the two screws on the bottom of the phone. These are Phillips screws. It's best to use a magnetized screwdriver because since you're dealing with very small screws it's easier to take out with a magnetized screwdriver. Now I have to get those two screws out. Stick your suction cup or like the tool I have or you can even jam a razor blade in there. You just have to get this glass off. Put it on and when you are lifting up, lift very gently because you don't want to pull out the cables that are underneath it. We don't want to just rip it out. We want to take it slow. So after you get that up, lift it up gently there's going to be three cables. That first one you see there is for the LCD. The second one is for the digitizer. And the third will be for the proximity and the earpiece. So just dis disattach those. Use your fingernail or anything. Now the third one, if you look closely, I'll show a close up here. There's a little latch on there. We want to swing that latch up. It's that black part that actually lifts up. After you lift that up, then you can pull it out. So we got the screen off. Next, we're going to disconnect these four wires, two in the left hand corner and two on the bottom. This first one I'm taking out is for the camera. The camera comes in two pieces. There's a screw, and underneath the screw, there's there's another metal part that holds the camera down. Just pull up the camera, just get it out of there. Disconnect this part on the bottom, and disconnect the bottom port. Then the two in the left hand corner. Alright, now we have all the cables disconnected. <coughs> We're going to want to go in the right bottom corner, lift that up, and you can see a sticker that says Do Not Remove Sticker. Try to get that sticker off as best as you can, just in case you ever want to resell a phone or bring it to Apple. I was actually lucky this time. I was able to bring up the whole sticker without tearing it. After you get that out, there's a screw right under there going to want to take those out. There's seven screws that hold the motherboard down. So start with that one because that one most and When you're taking these screws out you can really see why it's important to have a magnetized screwdriver usually the kits that you uh, you would buy on Amazon or eBay they, uh, they usually give you a, a screwdriver that's not magnetized and it's a lot smaller than the one I'm using now off so we're gonna just want to pry out the motherboard you can try with your fingernail your finger and this one's a little tricky it's not coming out that easy sometimes this does happen so let's figure out why it's not coming out oh there's a little metal latch over here not all the iPhones they have this some some don't have this. Um, they have it, but it's not going to keep you. So just stick something in there and just kind of pop it out. 
and then up comes your motherboard pull that out then here we have the battery the vibration on the side and the bottom port on the bottom three screws start by taking this one out after you get these screws out when you're taking this part out you want to hold the top hold the top of it and give pressure to the bottom so when you're taking it out you have speakers comes out very simple. After that, let's take out the battery. If you're not able to do it with your hand, you can stick a screwdriver in there, or some metal piece, just give it a little push. It just has a sticker on the back side. So don't be scared, you're not going to rip anything out. It's just a sticker. That's the vibration. So it has two screws. Take those out. Here is for the power button. There's two screws on the bottom of it. Right. And this whole this is one cable, this is your flex cable that goes from the power all the way to the earpiece to your vibration. After you take those out. over to the headphones, the earplug jack, and take out all the screws you see. Over here is for the vibration. It's going to be three tiny screws. Usually when I take out these screws, I don't want to take one by one by one. I, uh, <coughs> I usually just loosen each one because if you take all of them out in you know in order, then it gives too much pressure to the last one and you can possibly strip the screw. So I just loosen each one little by little and then finally take it off. last screw up here in the top corner of your vibration switch so for the power button just pull that down if you see that the button comes right out the button doesn't do anything it's just a little metal piece that gives pressure to the flex cable Phone jack and just slide that out. Vibration tool, one more screw stuck in there. Vibration switch.
for the rocker panel. As you can see, you can just slide that out. And here's your whole flex.